I don't think there's necessarily any subject matter that's better than another for conveying emotions. I think maybe it's more obvious if it's more literal, like if you're looking at a face and the face looks grief struck, then you're gonna know that that's what it is. If it's a painting of a landscape or of flowers and it's imbued with grief, it's more abstract or more of a poetic statement. My name is Caroline Wright. I am an artist and I um, was born and raised in Austin, Texas. I'm drawn to using floral forms and shapes uh, just for the way that flowers represent the life cycle so beautifully of just living, blooming, dying. But I have always appreciated just how beautiful they look and I especially love if you've got flowers in a vase and there's the day where all the petals fall off at the same time. That idea of just like releasing everything, it's just really beautiful. I've always been so drawn to color and what color can express and how contextual it is depending on what a color is next to. When I'm in my studio and I'm looking at all my paints and looking at the piece that is on the wall or on the floor that I'm working on, allowing myself to really like tap into the colors that are needed in that moment is it's just really satisfying to me and watching those colors sort of layer and contextualize with each other is such an interesting process. The piece I'm working on right now is enormous. It takes up my whole studio floor. I love working that size because I can't in a way. <laughs> I, um, I, I can't take in the whole space at once so while I'm painting I get lost in what I'm doing. And then I have to step back and like stand up on my stool and look down. Right now it's in an interesting point where there are places that are really built up and there are places that are still really loose and full of space. And I'll have to decide how those two areas juxtapose with each other or if there needs to be more cohesion. I don't know, I don't know where it's gonna go, but I'm really allowing a lot of space for things to become more abstract, and then also to become very literal if that's where it feels like it needs to go. I guess I feel like I'm watching it happen as opposed to deciding. I don't even know what the future of it is, but it's, it, it's kind of just leading me through an exploration. I'm always kind of searching out something that feels challenging and new and maybe a little disorienting because I think that we have really honest, interesting impulses that come out when we feel disoriented that can subvert the kinds of things that we might do if we become too comfortable. The garden for me is in a lot of ways like an anti-anxiety medication. <laughs> I feel like being in the garden just brings me back down to earth very literally and gives me a sense of peace and calm. I'm often noticing that I'll be painting something and I finish the painting and I glance out at my surroundings and it's like all the colors that were in my peripheral vision came into that painting. And so in my home studio, that's often the colors of the, the purple heart vine and all the green of the hackberries and things overgrowing in the summertime. Sometimes it's the pop of red that you see in the little Gerber daisies, that beautiful red-orange. I love adding pops of that into the middle of a painting. I live next door to an elementary school and because my studio is in my backyard, it's right up against the playground. So my soundtrack for the day is typically the sound of kids yelling and playing. And sometimes it helps me to get into a, a state of play myself. My hope is always that whatever I'm sharing is something that is connecting to other people and they're seeing maybe some aspects of their own story of things that they've been thinking about or struggling with. I was reading last night in a book about plant propagation, how the role of flowers is to produce seeds. As a new mother, that was an interesting parallel to me of like, that's obviously not my only role, but it does feel like it's very much a part of what I'm doing these days. 
and to think about flowers as that form that kind of creates life and continues life was interesting. <laughs>